Americans, as a combat veteran, a father with a son who graduated from the Naval Academy and two nephews currently serving in the armed forces, I feel compelled by a profound sense of duty to urge President Biden's removal from office. Yesterday at the NATO summit, President Biden made a series of alarming errors, mistakenly referring to President Zelensky as President Putin and Vice President Harris as Vice President Trump. These are not mere slips of the tongue. They are glaring indicators of a cognitive decline that cannot be ignored. Our national security is at stake. Every day that President Biden remains in office, we risk further jeopardizing the safety and stability of our country. The role of the president demands sharpness, clarity, and decisiveness, qualities that are essential to navigate the complex and often perilous landscape of global politics. Unfortunately, it has become painfully clear that President Biden no longer possesses these attributes. This is not a partisan issue. It is a matter of national security and integrity. We must put aside our political differences and come together for the greater good of our country. The president's cognitive capacity is severely diminished, and it is our responsibility to ensure that the highest office in the land is occupied by someone who is fully capable of fulfilling its demands. I say again, let's put our political differences aside. Our country is at risk. We must address the ethical implications of allowing President Biden to continue in his role. Abusing senior citizens for political or pecuniary purposes is a crime. Elder abuse in many states. It is unconscionable to exploit someone in the twilight years for political gain. We owe it to President Biden and to ourselves to act with compassion and integrity. Mr. President, for the good of our country, I urge you to step down immediately. I know what a difficult decision it is, but it is the right one. History is littered with examples of aging national leaders, chancellors, sultans, kings, and emperors who were manipulated by evil men to promote policies that led to war and destruction. Our nation's security, our global standing, and our moral compass depend on it. Let us honor our Republican principles of accountability and decency by replacing President Biden with an individual who is physically, mentally, and morally fit to execute the duties of the Office of President of the United States. Thank you for listening, and may God bless you and these United States.